today we will create this. Most people can't even decide what color to wear or which burger to eat. What the f*** does it matter, man? Autonomy is an illusion. Start by creating a new composition. I will keep it under 20 seconds, because my audio isn't very long. Hit OK. I will open safe margins and put the song on timeline. Most people can't even decide what color to... Type a word using the text tool. Place it above. Play the audio, and see where a sentence ends, and trim the text layer approximately. Then hit P to open position. Add a keyframe. Push it a few frames forward, then change the value to add another keyframe. Then hit shift plus s to open scale, and add keyframes like this. Unlink the scale like this, then change one value to stretch it. The movement should look like this. Copy this code from the pinned comment of this video. Paste it under the position. Now your text should bounce. Similarly copy the other code and paste it under scale. Close it, then make a duplicate. On duplicate layer, select both keyframes. Place your timeline marker over one keyframe, then move it down, and overwrite the word. Push it forward to sync with the audio. Make another duplicate, push it forward. Move it down, while both keyframes are selected, and marker is over them. Then overwrite. After you have a few layers done like this, trim them. And enable this motion blur button. Also turn this switch on, in all of your text layers. The text should be much smoother now. Alright now I will just duplicate the text layers and overwrite, until all text is done. So let's just fast forward this process. When you're done with all the text, select the text layers and pre-compose them. Call it text. After that, I will create a duplicate of this layer. Rename the bottom layer as ball action. Then put CC ball action effect to this. I want to make sort of randomly appearing static particles. You can follow my steps. It should look like this. Right now it's not the most appealing effect, but it will add a nice detail on the finished result. Then select both layers and pre-compose them. I'll call these as lyrics. Then duplicate this layer and rename it as Texture FX. Turn off the layer below. Put Fractal Noise effect on the Texture FX layer. 
I will tweak this. Not really anything specific. To give it some movement, add this time expression code to the evolution property. Now the texture should have some movement. Then turn on the layer below, and change above layer to hard light blend mode. Rename the layer below as FX. Put a turbulent noise effect on this. Temporarily turn off the above layer. Adjust it. Then put a tint effect. And guys, somehow the color choice matter in this effect, so pick exact colors, later you can experiment with your own. I'm not sure I just experiment all the time, so you can too. Anyway, then duplicate this FX layer. Put it below, and rename it as line. Delete tint effect from this one, and put find edges effect. Invert the effect using this checkbox. Set the blend mode to screen. Tweak turbulent noise effect until only outline remains. Then turn back on both other layers. It should look like this. Add an adjustment layer. Name it as wiggle. Then put a wiggle position effect to it. Set the values like mine. It'll give a nice and slow shaking effect. Create another adjustment layer. Call it a zoom. Put a transform effect to it. Add keyframes for scale and anchor point. Go at the start and increase the scale size. And just try to zoom in on any phrase that you think will look good. You can also add rotation. It gives a nice dynamic sense of movement. Create a solid and name it as Fractal Glitch. Pre-compose this layer, and name it as Map. Double click it to navigate to its composition. Put a fractal noise effect to the solid layer. And follow my settings. On the evolution setting, put this time code to give some movement. Then add keyframes under offset turbulence to make the whole texture slide. And set the noise type to block instead of soft linear. Unlink the uniform scaling. Then try to stretch the texture by changing scale width and height and change brightness and contrast until they look like those tiny technology algorithm type particles. Then under subrotation property add the time code like this.
it should look like this. Head back to the main composition. You can turn off the map layer, then create an adjustment layer and rename it as distortion. Place it below the wiggle layer, then put displace a pro effect on this. Here select your map layer. Change the translate x and y values a tiny bit like 3 or minus 3%. Under map adjustment panel, change the displacement offset until your text is in the center. Play with it for a while. This is how it looks so far. I think the particles are too much, so let's add a wiggle expression code to the brightness. It will make the particles blink. Then create one more adjustment layer, name it as glow. Put any glow effect that you have, I will put deep glow effect. Then put VC vibrance effect before the glow effect. Set the color and settings like this. Add one last adjustment layer, name it as color change. Put an invert effect to it. Set it to hue. Try changing VC Vibrance's color to see what works out best. Play with glow threshold to experiment with looks. Under the zoom layer, put some value in skew property, to get a slanted look. Alright, I hope you learned something new. If you did, you know what to do. Thanks, and goodbye. Most people can't even decide what color to wear or which burger to eat. What the f*** does it matter, man? Autonomy is an illusion.